how to make a coaching website. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a easy method on how to create your own coaching website. So let's get into it. Now, I have created my Wix account and over here, I'm just gonna click on create new sites and we're just going to get started from scratch on how to create a coaching website. So you could be a gym coach, you could be a consultant, whatever you are doing, you can create a coaching website easily on Wix for whatever field of life you are working in. So you're gonna continue with the Wix website website editor and I'm going to skip on this over here and I'm going to skip this and now Wix is going to ask you on how you want to create your website so we're just going to click on edit a template and we're going to begin developing our website so over here you can choose a template or you can get started from scratch now that is totally up to you uh, you can definitely choose a template to get started with but over here we're going to click on blank templates and what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, add the strip header layout so i want this layout already so i'm going to click on edit or you can even get started from absolute scratch so you have a complete blank canvas but i really like to add this layout anyways because i eventually end up creating a layout just like that so i'm just going to add that layout and i'm going to start creating my website now over here on the top what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my site name and i'm going to move it to the left and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to decrease the strip size and add this over here and now i'm going to add the uh, name so i'm going to add jane's consultancy and I'm going to move this right over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on manage pages on the top left. And I'm going to remove all excess pages because I'm going to create my own. And I'm going to leave the contact page because I think that's like a important page anyway. So now I'm going to select the strip background and I'm going to add a background. Obviously you can add any kind of background, but I'm going to click on image over here. And I'm going to use a image from Wix. So I'm just going to search for a professional looking image that doesn't, you know, isn't too loud. So I think this one is pretty good. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding uh, the information for our consultancy. So know your way around the globe. And then I'm going to add the bottom text. So hi, I'm Jane here to guide you with all your travel needs from business to personal like so so i'm just adding all of my information like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my image so you're just going to take a look at this and then you can see this is what it's currently looking like i'm going to click on manage column and i'm going to click on image and i'm going to add woman or i'm going to search for business women or i'm going to search for women portfolio woman in suit like this and i'm just gonna pick out any image from here so i think i might want to use this one or maybe i think i'm gonna go with this one and i'm gonna click on change background and i'm just gonna apply this image over here so just like that, I've added like my basic homepage. And from here, you're obviously going to add your own uh, description about the service that you're providing. So we're just going to leave this at XYZ because we don't have any information about this service like this. And then you have your contact button over here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add your booking section. Uh, you can just click on the add app section over here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add your booking schedule because obviously if you're coaching someone or something like that, people usually require bookings for that. So you're just going to search for bookings over here and then you're going to click on Wix bookings and then you can click on add to site or add and add Wix bookings or there are many other alternatives that are available for free. So you have Flipbooks, you have bookings list, you have vacation rental booking. So I think I'm just going to use a simple booking software of booking list because it's simple and easy. And I'm just gonna click on add to site over here or you can even search for appointment over here and then you have specific appointment booking softwares as well so i'm just going to add bookings list and i'm going to click on add to site over here and now bookings list has been added to my site so if i take a look at bookings list i'm just going to take a look i have bookings list and i'm going to click on open 
And now this will open up the Wix dashboard from where I will actually manage my booking. So I can add different kind of services. I can add like a hourly booking, a 40 minute session or whatever kind of service that you're providing. So you can add your services over here. So I haven't added any currently, but I'm going to click on add Wix bookings, manage apps, open. I'm just going to add Wix bookings. So now our booking list has been added. You can add more features as you go and you can click on manage pages, add page, and then add a blank page to add a page describing your service. So let's say this could be a crash course. So whatever service you're providing, you can provide like a crash course in this website and you can add more information about that. And once you have finished designing and adding information, you're just going to click on publish over here. So once you have published your coaching website, this is what it's currently looking like this is what my website is looking like i can go on to my wix my site section and what i can do over here is i can click on select site over here and this will lead me to the site dashboard so from here i can manage all of my site seo finances marketing uh, analytics and reports and all those other applications so you can see you have your basic dashboard for your website and below that you also have your apps and then in your apps you can add your booking you can add your schedulings whatever kind of scheduling software you are using you can just open it up and then you can add your booking list over here or add your scheduling list over here to manage your bookings and you don't have to actually you know add bookings only by one service you can use any of the different integrations available by wix so you can also have your content manager and you also have your developer tools like google operations connecting monitor tools and advanced view events so you can go back into your home section and you can click on subscriptions over here and take a look at the total people that have subscribed to your website and the active subscriptions that you have and you can manage all of your site contacts from here as well so all of your visitors and all of the managerial employees you can find over here now this is what the website is looking like so i can edit it or upgrade it at any time so i can go on home and i can just take a look at my website over here and i can click on edit site over here and i can begin editing my website so if there are some more features that with time you would like to add or with time maybe your courses have changed maybe the kind of coaching you provide has changed you can just click on edit site over here and then you can edit the kind of services you provide so i'm going to click on crash course and i'm going to click on add apps and i'm going to add bookings over here so i'm just going to go into the wix app market i'm going to wait for the app market to load and then i would just add the bookings or scheduling software whatever you might want to call it so you can just take a look over here i have these different uh booking scheduling software so i can just click on any one of these softwares and i can click on add to site and this will just add this to my website and i can edit the kind of bookings that i provide or the kind Kind of sessions that i provide via these software so this is just one way to add a simple scheduling method to your consultancy website or to your crash course website so it's simple and easy to manage on wix and that is why i prefer using wix to create my website because this kind of dashboard is very intuitive and it allows you to uh, get access to all of the basic tools that you would need via the dashboard and you don't actually have to go back into your website editor again and again and that is why i find wix to be the most effective for these kinds of websites so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to create your own wix website using this method and you are now able to create your own specific niche whatever it might be it could be anything from a coaching website to a guidance website a therapy website whatever you're looking to create via wix if you have any questions leave them in the comment box down below Below, and I will try to answer them as soon as possible and make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.